Now, it's said that money can't buy love and that love of money is the root of all evil. In fact, the mighty OJs even sang a song about it. Want to hear it? You know what? It's Friday. I'm singing. For the love of money, people will steal from their mother. For the love of money, people will rob their own brother. For the love of money, people can't even walk the streets. All right. It is often said, don't let money change you. They get to that later on in the song. Almighty dollar. Sound advice. Clear and concise for the love of money. Now, the song's been playing in my head on a loop ever since I learned about the Virginia woman whose husband got her a scratch-off ticket for Valentine's Day that hit for $10 million. Good love, that's a lot of money. $10 million, y'all. Six and a half in hand after taxes and a lump sum payout, which I'm sure gave her the ultimate post-Valentine's Day bragging rights with her girlfriends, because I know she shut that text chain down. Girl, my man got me some Fenty lingeries and the perfume I wanted. What you get? Six and a half million dollars. All of a sudden, the chain goes dark. Nothing. You start up and restart your phone. Still nothing. Look, I am happy for this couple. I really am. I like it when ordinary folks get a come up. But I'm kind of worried, too, because it's a lot of stories about couples who win the lottery and then they're done. Because month, don't let money change you. Almighty dollar. They get to wilding out like West Virginia Powerball winner Jack Whitaker. You remember him? He won $314 million on Christmas Day in 2002. And right after he gave some money to his church, he got to wilding out. Shout out to him for giving money to his church first. My dude bought a Lambo and was driving around his neighborhood just tossing cash out the window. And those of you sitting there saying, hey, what's wrong with that? Y'all the ones whose cars are going to be broken into at the strip club parking lot like his was. Thieves took a suitcase out of his car that had $545,000 of cash money in it. When asked why he was carrying that kind of cash around, he said, because you know I can because I can. That's gangster level wilding. And we haven't even gotten to the part where family members start coming out to woodwork looking for money. That's why I haven't said any names. I don't want to contribute to that. Yeah, I was worried about this couple. But there's part of the story that does give me hope because her husband called her after he scratched the ticket off and saw that it was a winner. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is love. There you have it. He didn't jump into his car and head out to parts unknown like a lot of you male and females would have. He called her and let her know we've come up, giving Mrs. X a lifetime of bragging rights. Girl, he could have ran off, but he came home to me. Now, I don't know what I would have done for him, but I ain't even got to worry about it. I'm just playing. Congratulations to you, too. And remember, 